Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We got some uh, really exciting things going on in the world of Flight Sim. As we all know, Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 has dropped in the last few days, last couple days, actually it was yesterday. So I've been playing around a little bit with it and I'm pretty impressed with what I see for the most part. Uh, I'm, I figure we could probably do a quick couple videos here and there in the next few days and uh, just explore it a little bit and show it off maybe for anybody who's on the fence about buying it and uh, they can make up their minds and we'll go from there. Now, in my opinion, graphics are very important. The more realistic the graphic, the higher the immersion. If it looks too pixelated, it'll kind of break that for you. And weather conditions. These are very important for any flight sim. So the first thing I did was fly over New York on a winter setting. This was December, about minus 15 degrees. Um, same, but at night. So we can see the the night graphics and the way they've designed the cities at night. This is just a, a summer afternoon, just a beautiful day in the summer. And the next one is a exact same summer day, but it's a sunrise. And so it looks pretty beautiful really from all angles. Here's a scattered clouds and you can change all these settings as you're flying. You don't have to like reload the mission or something. Now we were all expecting really amazing things from Microsoft, uh, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't think it would look like this. And uh, it's pretty incredible. I'm pretty impressed with the, the visuals and the graphics that I see from Microsoft Flight Sim right now. Very, very realistic and uh, impressive. So after I played a little bit with the graphics and the weather conditions and stuff, I decided to go look at some points of interest. One of the first places I went to was the Statue of Liberty. And I was pleasantly surprised by how well it's modeled, the 3D uh, image of it. It's, it's clean, it's sharp, it looks good. Around it looks like there's life, there's boats and ships and you know all kinds of things going on. At night it lights up, which is uh, nice. Like I, I knew it did that in real life, but I, I honestly wasn't sure if Microsoft had done that in The Sim. And uh, it looks just as good as ni at night that it did during the day. So. Very impressive. I'm kind of impressed with attention to detail like this. This is the kind of thing that I look for, you know? So as with any flight sim of this magnitude, there's going to be bugs and things to get sorted out. Like this boat that I found to the left side of the Statue of Liberty. Looks like it's got three or four trees growing out of it. Not sure how long that boat's been there. But uh, the point is there are some minor things that Microsoft still need to sort out. So once I was done in New York, I loaded up Toronto, Canada, uh, December, it's minus five degrees, I believe here. And just flying around a little bit, seeing the winter terrain, house cities, and you know, look at the icing effects on, on the aircraft, uh, the way it affects your flight and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty impressive. Uh, visually stunning to see an entire city covered in snow like this from this altitude. And uh, it looks just as good as you would expect with any nighttime or you know daytime conditions. Things look like they're covered up. The roofs look like they're full of snow. You can actually set the snow density, like how many centimeters or millimeters of snow there is. So you can make it look really thick or not that thick. So then I explored what the winter would look like um, in like a little bit fog, more precipitation, and the icing conditions, this was about minus 15. And the fact that you can't see so much and everything's kind of white, it's intimidating. And, you know, it definitely immersive. You know, that's that's what I felt. Um, it was immersive because it looked so realistic. And so naturally I flew over, you know, the pyramids of Giza. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one of the top 10 places anybody goes when they load up flight sim. Just, you know, kind of a rite of passage. Um, something I've always wanted to see in real life for sure. It's a... Uh, quite a beautiful sight I hear and uh, very overwhelming the size of these things and uh, the Sphinx is here too I believe there it is you can see it coming into the frame now and then from there I headed to Tokyo and Tokyo I wanted to come to just because it's such a large city it's a very large metropolitan area there's gonna be a lot of things to load I wanted to see the performance of Microsoft Flight Sim also look at this from a higher altitude you know, the city looks pretty realistic and everything looks clean. The way the sun is hitting the buildings at correct angles and the light reflections and the, the shadows, everything looks good. Light reflections off the aircraft, off the canopy, the glass, you know, everything checks. 
everything looks the way that it should. After that, I moved on to uh, the Eiffel Tower in France. Naturally, I wanted to see if it was modeled and uh, very happy to see that it is. There are still some bugs here and there with some 2D textures. There's a bridge behind the Eiffel Tower that seems like it's not rendering really well. And so there's these little minor things that they still need to fix for sure. But for the most part, it looks beautiful and you will never notice these things if you fly a little bit higher up. Um, as soon as you start to get closer to the ground, you start to realize some problems with the textures and stuff, but um, that's obvious. And what I mean by obvious is obviously they couldn't 3D render every blade of grass and every building in Microsoft Flight Sim. We wouldn't get this for the next 200 years. So naturally, as you start dropping the altitude, you're going to start noticing more and more of these minor texture problems. But other than that, from a high altitude, it looks great. So those are my general thoughts on Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 in terms of graphics so far. I've only had it for about 24 hours now and I haven't really had time to come up with an opinion on the aircraft, the modeling, and the uh, flight models and all that stuff, but we'll get to that stuff at some point. Um, I'm just not there to have an informed opinion about it right now. That'll come in another video. Um, those are my thoughts right now for graphics and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna leave you with some pretty stunning visuals of Microsoft Flight Sim, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys, bye. Thank you.